an official interview. They're not gonna see anything but below the waist. I am wearing sweats, Adidas slides with socks, and this pinstripe blazer top. This video today is about how to prepare and excel in a virtual in This video today is about how to, wow. This video today is about how to excel in a virtual interview. So stick around and watch the entire video. Welcome back to the Korea Service YouTube channel. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like, share, and comment on this video. What is a virtual interview? Uh, most of you already know what that is because we're in a global pandemic and nobody is interviewing in person. If they are, do you know what you're working? A virtual interview is an interview that happens over Skype or Zoom. I'll be going over the comprehensive checklist I have for preparing for a virtual interview. Number one, make sure you read absolutely everything the interviewer sends you. You don't want to get into the interview and then they ask you a question and you're unable to answer because you are negligent interviewing information they already gave. Two, make sure you do your research. Research the company, research the interviewers or the interviewer. Make sure you're able to answer any questions they may have about themselves and also when it comes time to you asking them questions, you're able to take the information that you researched and regurgitate it back to them. Step three, practice. Just like you would for an interview in person or an interview over the phone, it's really important to make sure you practice. Practice the questions you might ask, practice responses to questions they may ask you, and make sure you practice being able to talk about yourself. For people who struggle with confidence or who have mental disadvantages, it is even more important for you to practice so that you can feel prepared and confident going into the interview. Part two, the comprehensive checklist is your surroundings. Make sure where you are is well lit, similar to where I am now. This is actually a really great example. There's nothing too distracting in the background. All I have is my dresser, a plant, a mirror, and you can see part of my bed but behind me it's completely clear and there generally isn't anything distracting. You can see my face is extremely well lit because I'm sitting in front of a window. If you don't have a general space like this, a white wall will do just fine. I could have also used that wall back there or that wall over there and moved my mirror. You could also just use Zoom or Skype's background features. You can click somewhere in there. It'll allow for you to pick your own background so they won't see anything behind you. Part three is personal presentation. So I'm wearing a pinstripe blazer which is very professional. I'm not wearing any jewelry to distract, only earrings. My hair is pulled behind my ears so you can see my face. My hair is combed. It's not looking crazy. Like you don't want to go into an interview. You don't want to go into an interview with your hair like this. Another part of your self presentation is you must make sure you're paying attention during the interview. You don't want to be caught looking off or looking down at your phone during a virtual interview. Also for the simple fact that you could freeze. So let's say you're on your phone really quickly and you're just like this and you're frozen on their side and all they see is this. I mean, you still could <laughs> if you're qualified. Part four is that you should be prepared for the unpredictable. Make sure your Wi-Fi connection is good. Make sure your phone is on silent. If you're doing it on your laptop, make sure your computer is set to do not disturb so you're not getting notifications which could distract you. Make sure all your tabs are closed on your internet browsers and all you have is that interview up. You never know if they're gonna say, present your screen to show us a piece of your work or anything. You don't wanna be caught off guard where they see something that you don't want them to see on your computer. If you're living with roommates or you're living at home, make sure you alert everybody in your house that you are having a virtual interview, lock the door where you are. The last piece on this comprehensive checklist is to make sure you follow up with the interviewers after you're done. You conclude the interview by thanking them for their time. You ex out when they tell you the interview is over. You don't want to ex out too prematurely. I like to wait for about 60 seconds before the interview is completely done before exiting out. After the interview is over and you have left, you can follow up with the interviewers in two to three days if you haven't heard back from them already. If you're interested in seeing this comprehensive comprehensive checklist in written form, you can visit www.careersavage.com and click on the blog which is called Miss Career Savage and you can see it right there. Thank you so much for watching guys. Until next time.